welcome back to Auto House in Naples. I'm Haley. And I'm Layton. And two is, is better, better than, than one. one. What should we drive today? I don't know. I want to drive something fast. I know yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. You guys could drive this 1970 Chevelle with a 396 big block in it. Wow, that does look cool. It is an automatic, so I could see you girls driving that to the uh, beach today. I could do that. Yeah. But I kind of want to drive the fastest car in our lot today. This is fast. <laughs> but I don't know. This this 2019 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack, how 485 much? horsepower on that. Yeah, Ooh. I think... I think this might be the fastest one we have. Listen, the Mercedes station wagon. The station wagon. The station really? Wagon. The Mercedes AMG E63 S station wagon. How much horsepower do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Not much. I mean, it is a Mercedes, so I'm sure it's fast. Over but it's a station 600. wagon. Yeah, <laughs> on a station wagon. It's absolutely unbelievable, this car. Uh, before we get into this car, make sure and subscribe to our YouTube page, turn on the notifications, follow our Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Check out our website to see this car, all our other cars for sale. It's autohouseinnaples.com. So let's get into this absolutely magnificent car. On the front, it has a very sporty look for a station wagon. It's it's pretty special. We have Michelin tires on the front here. They're 265 35ZR20s with the carbon ceramic brake rotors too. Something really unique about this wheel too really quick is it looks like it's a center locking wheel just based on it. But when you twist this and pull this off, you'll actually see all the lug nuts on all five wheels. Mm. But it gives off the more sporty look that it's a center locking wheel. It's, it's pretty crazy that this is a, a station wagon. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm still It's talking. so unique. And then you also have the AMG red brake calipers. It's, it's just the red brake calipers on a, a wagon. I know. <laughs> it's awesome. But it's it does look cool. cool. It's super sleek. It's got a very uh, bold looking yeah. exterior. Something unique about the back here as well. So normally the original, the older wagon said E63S and then AMG. And so they switched it up on these models. And so now it's AMG E63S. So the car is called the Mercedes AMG E63S. Pretty kind of wild that they're switching up, I guess, to emphasize the AMG. Mm -hmm. And also down here as well, if you go down underneath where the rear view camera normally is at, you actually just can't see it from sitting right here. But when you're in reverse, it'll drop down, which is kind of nice. So it won't get as dirty, um, stuff like that. You got the AMG Performance dual muffler. Very sporty look. And all around the side of the car too, you also have the carbon fiber trim down below by the doors. That's a pretty nice touch. Yeah, it looks cool. And also again over here, you have the, the V8 bi-turbo on the side with the, yeah, that's a, that's a good, nice look right there. And again on the uh, rear view mirrors as well. This car is finished in obsidian black metallic, mm -hmm. I believe. I love the black on black. Yeah, the black on black is super cool. It's got a nice look. Should we pop the hood real quick and check out the, uh, yeah. engine? the 600 horsepower engine? Let's see. Okay. Let's see so you have a four liter twin turbo and that's going to give you that 600 horsepower. Something really cool about this car is that whoever built the engine, their name is going to be right there on that plaque. So you can actually see who built this engine. So that's going to be unique to each vehicle, which is actually a really, really nice feature. Down here too, something kind of funny 
is Mercedes put some different emblems down here. So if you're working in your suit and tie, just, I guess, don't wear a tie while you're working on the engine. Kind of different. Nice and clean. Sleek. Close that. Okay, should we check out the inside? Let's do it. Check it out. So first, let's actually get in the back and show you guys how much leg room it has because even though it is a kind of sedan style and station wagon, it actually has a bit of room like an SUV. So we're both tall, about 5'9", and there's ample leg room. Yeah, wow. It's pretty nice. And you actually have two vents back here. You have a vent on the side and down below as well. And you can control the temperature back here, which is a great added feature for the uh, rear passengers. And of course, we have some great sound system. We have the sunshade as well. Great for road trips or sunny Florida, I suppose. <laughs> so that's an awesome, awesome feature. Also back here as well, you have the button to pull down the seats. So just like an SUV, this car or wagon can do just about everything an SUV can do, but it's a wagon. It's awesome. So right there's the button to release and then the trunk as well. The oh, trunk wow. as well, that's super spacious. You also have buttons right here to fold down. So see right there, pops down that side, and then on this side, pull that button and it pops it down as well. And then of course you can take out the screen and everything. So look at how much space mm -hmm. is in the back of that. So it has that sedan feel, but it's a, you know, a wagon and has that whole SUV look and Space. feel yeah. and then the uh, automatic closing trunk just so many features and upgrades on this car I mean it is an AMG so of course it's gonna be nice so let's see now inside here a lot of fun stuff when you just pop in for one we have a um, the for your cigarettes if you're into that <laughs> but it's removable so you don't have to have in the car if you don't want it uh could put your coins in there anything like that and then just set it there it's kind of nice you don't have the ashtray just built into the car um some other cool features we have the adjustable seats we have the different settings heated and cooled seats Cold seats for Florida is going to be definitely essential. Mm -hmm. Should we start this thing up? Maybe? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, wow. That sounds nice. How many horsepower was that? 600. awfully quick yeah <laughs> okay come on let's uh let's go for a drive oh my gosh this one's Where gonna be fun amazing probably you should adjust the steering wheel just a touch Little do they know. Oh my gosh. I it's gonna be a bumpy video. I, yeah. <laughs> Probably because I'm kind of taken off a little interesting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. I, I don't know even know if I'm handling <laughs> this car correctly. Did you feel when we turned out two on yes. the side of your seat? Yeah, I think that's the active body control or contour seats. Yeah, with like the lumbar 
support. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you absolutely glide in this thing. This is crazy. Up front, you have the heads up display too. I don't know, can you see it on the camera at all? No. Oh, yeah, you can. It shows the speed limit. Oh, miles that's nice. Hour. So I feel like you could probably uh, get up over the speed limit pretty quick in this. So yeah, you have oh, yeah. the dual screen display, which I really like. So you can have, you know, your navigation or your yeah. your radio. And then we got multiple ways to adjust everything. You can adjust right here with the, the what do they call it, a touch? Touchpad, I think. Touchpad. And then you can turn this as well. Oh yeah. And then you can also adjust it right here on the steering wheel. You can just swipe your finger up and down and it will Oh, how cool. The so there's literally so, so many different ways it, yeah. to just adjust the screen. So you have your automatic shut off, you have your exhaust, Which if you want some more. Turn that off. I don't like that off. Yeah. Your your parking sensors with the camera. I believe it has like eight sensors around the car. And it oh we should uh, we should back up somewhere too because it has that 360 or 360 um, camera. Okay. And then it has also the blind spot assist. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. It sounds like we're in a literal sports car. Yeah. And we're driving around in a wagon. But we don't feel like we're in a wagon either, you know? Yeah. When you're inside, you literally feel like you are in a sports car. But you have all the space yeah. of an SUV and a sedan. You could fit anything back there. Yeah. This is absolutely the coolest car. <laughs> this is the coolest wagon ever. I am certain of it. I think this is the coolest car we've driven this far. Oh, I've never drove a car as cool as this one. I, I think it's even cooler that it is a wagon because, actually I should stop saying that in my accent, a wagon. Um, this is the coolest car because it's a wagon, but it has comparable horsepower and speed to like a Lamborghini. Yeah. And you're in a wagon. <laughs> like a station wagon. I, I just, I can't believe it. So I really like the yeah. AMG seats. Yeah, that's really nice. And they have the multi, um, different textures. You have like the leather and then you also have the softer material there as well. Yeah, and I love this. Oh, here we go. Speed by everybody. Here Don't mind go. us and our station wagon. <laughs> okay, here we go, ready? Let's hear it. Shuts off automatically at 180. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, so like, there's should, actually a governor well. limit. Yeah, yeah so right? Quick. We also got the dual sunroof. Oh yeah. Makes it even more spacious back there. We still have the seats down, but 
And then also here as well, so you have your, your mirror, but something cool is you can pull that mirror over and then also an additional mirror right oh, there. Oh, wow. So if you have the sun coming in at different angles, then you can get the double, the double, oops, mirror. I like that. Another thing I like about this is I like the AC it controls, these little knobs. Yeah. They're oh my super gosh, sleek feeling looking. Feeling the seat adjust. I know, it's super nice. I love the AMG interior. Oh, so something if you keep keep the, the phone on your side right there, I can hit a button on my side and I can adjust oh. your seat from my side. So actually I'll leave that on for you. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's it's, so nice of you. Since it's 80 degrees here, but you can also I can move your seat as well. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Huh, that is so cool. So I don't know if that was a feature. So like, if the passenger gets out, you can change the settings without them in the car, or if it was just to mess with people. So. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like it's more to mess with people, but I yeah. I, I kind of like that, that's and fun. so that's the button right over here. It says R, so that you adjust mm. the right side. This is just one of those cars that it's like, what feature does it not have? Yeah, honestly. It's got um, lane keeping assist, blind spot assist. Automatic braking. Automatic braking. And you got in here, you also have your cup holders. You've got a USB right there, another little area right here. It also has a self steering function, which is oh, nice. Oh, does it really? It was always kind of Adaptive cruise control. Adaptive cruise control, that's really nice. That's a good feature. And then in here, we've got a pretty good size compartment. Yeah. Some USB ports. I'm still trying to like see everything that's, you know, I feel like we've only touched on a surface of. What this car has, yeah. I know. The fact that if you're driving on the freeway, racing a Lamborghini in your station wagon, I, I couldn't even imagine. I wish there would have been somebody out there like a Ferrari or whatever. I know. Cruising. Save some gas. Yeah. So okay. quiet. And then you can't really tell right now with the ambient lighting. Okay. So there is 63 different colors that you can change. Oh my to. gosh. Like, look at all the different, and you have mul multiple like packs of colors. You can adjust. Yeah, and you can even, I think you can get over to that and you can have like, Literally. Wow, look, and you can, you know, change Adjust where you the want brightness. it. So say you want it brighter in the rear. Wow, that's cool. And all the colors, like that's every color you can imagine. Yeah. Like, oh, I want green, a little lighter. Like you can literally have the exact color that you want. How cool. These massage sheets, this feels like an actual massage chair. So this, this display is actually 12.3 inches. And you got like two full displays right yeah, next to each other. Yeah, it's dual screen, which I love. Let's get back to that. Yeah, the nav and everything. 
Oh, you turned mine on the hot set. The go. hot <gasps> massage. Oh, no. I was like, wow, it feels like my heated seat is on. But I have the cool <laughs> on. It's definitely the hot massager. It feels like it is. Ooh. Whoops. Maybe I... I knew I, I knew I did it. I just wasn't thinking about it being... Like, actually hot. 83 degrees. Let's see if I can get back to it now. Especially the AMG. Yeah. It's definitely a unique car to have. Oh, we got um, we got a different texture up here as well. Yeah. And then you know we didn't even touch on some of the lighting, but over here, the overhead lighting. If you can see in there, like the square lights, mm -hmm. they're very unique. On the back, there's also a um. The rear tail lights have like a sparkly glow to them. They have like this shimmer in them. It's probably one of the most unique tail lights out there. Wow. And on the front, on the turn signal, we also have the Mercedes Benz logo will light up. Oh. And you can see the logo on when, when you're turning. It on the ground? Up. How cool. it, it's through the light, like on the headlight, it lights up. We'll have to do that up. tonight. I want to see that. Yeah. With the ambient lighting going. Yeah. Another cool thing is down here, there's the, it shows the eight cylinders logo kind of emblem right there. And so, you know, it is typical for cars when you're, you know, cruising to go to four cylinders. So then that that emblem will turn to four cylinders. Oh, right there. So now it's oh, a four yeah. cylinder, so you know. I mean, a lot of cars do that, but it's just nice to actually be able to see. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Like what's going on and how it's working and everything. Paddle shifters, if you want to turn the car into manual mode as well. So cruising around, you can be an automatic, but if you want to have some fun, feel like you're really driving it, the paddle shifter is right there. We have manual mode. It drives super smooth. And this is in sport too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so let us help you drive, drive your, your dreams. dreams.